My name is Dharamjit Kumar. I work in an organization called Ayang. Ayang means love in the missing tribe with which we work. It is based in an island called Majuli Island. It's an incredibly beautiful island surrounded by two mighty rivers, Brahmaputra from one end, Subhansiri from the other. Majuli is a home for a population of about 160,000, mostly belonging to a tribe called Missing Tribe. Majuli is also a place of incredible varieties of birds, animals, and whatnot. This beautiful story is also a story of a struggle. The struggle is about a life between floods and erosion. Every year, the island faces incredible destruction from floods. Floods from end to end bring about huge damage. And every second, this some part of the island is getting dissolved into water. So it is in this struggle we are trying to work in the area of school education. My name is Vatan Sani. Uh, I graduated from IIT Kadapur. And uh, after that, I worked uh, in uh, coaching institute in um, uh, there. I was teaching uh, class 10th and 11th student. And that time, I felt that uh, uh, I cannot do much for uh, those uh, students because uh, in such com competitive environment, uh, I have very little time, very little uh, opportunity to do. So I wanted to work uh, for primary students. And during those days, I came to know about Bipin. Bipin is starting one school in Majuli, so I plan to visit for uh, and there I will see what will happen in there. Main core areas, the problem areas that we find is, first, in terms of education, I'm probably talking about the education. There are about 800 schools in Thailand. So there are many schools, but however, the schools are not meeting the aspirations of the community. Many schools you will see less teachers, more children, poor infrastructure. So kind of education environment that you wish that school happens, mostly it doesn't have. Then there is a slightly disconnect within, not slightly, major disconnect between the community and the schools. Very less participation. As I mentioned in the beginning, that this island is losing land. In the last 50 years, it has lost about 60-70% of its total area. And the government report suggests that in the next 30 years, it might just the whole island just goes into the water. So in the, that context, what happened to children who will go out of the schools? Where will they go? So that is one of our uh, uh, the thing that we want to work with, this intention. Because this is such an isolated place, so uh, um, whatever taught in outside places, those things will not be applicable here. So we have to uh, design a curriculum which is specific to those tribal children. So with that, keep in mind, uh, we uh, we are experimenting with uh, the many things. We are uh, trying to uh, uh, include uh, the uh, folk tales uh, and uh, their singing, uh, 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 dance age uh, in our curriculum. We are using the local resource age. Uh, 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 we bring uh, uh, local uh, uh, local carpenter and something like that uh, in our school. We invite them and uh, try to teach them those uh, crafts and uh, other things. The major struggle so far has been the first the dialogue with the government. Second is the context. I mean, the geography, the communication challenge is huge. Particularly to work in such areas, you need some different kind of passion, you know, like something that you can connect to the field. Unless you don't have it, so it's, it's tough to work in that area. Uh, a little inside you go, there's no road connectivity. All these kacha roads are there. So one rain and the, you, you plan to do many other things on the whole day and then one rain comes and the entire plan has to be changed. So we carry our educational resources and we try to approach the government. So we have bikes. And then the bike has to be taken on the boat. It's like a multiple thing. So these are struggles. But struggle is kind of like you need some kind of uh, passion. The Pro Fellowship, uh, at that time uh, I was working, that, uh, I have, uh, we are living in uh, such a remote place. So we are living with such poor people. So we also need some money to assist ourselves. And uh, because we are living with children also, so they also need money for us. Uh, doctor and other things so uh, mostly the, those things and uh, also we have uh, so many local teachers we have, we have, lo we have mostly had local teachers for our school so uh, we want to also have a training for them so uh, in this Bipro fellowship has so many the teacher training programs and those things so that has helped us a lot so the, those are some main advantage of, uh, we got from Bipro fellowship